Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at getting started with ASP.NET Core with Angular using the Visual Studio 2022. We will also look at the necessary components needed for us to get started. But before we get started, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get into it then. So Angular is a platform and framework for building single page client applications using HTML and TypeScript. It is written in TypeScript and implements core and optional functionalities as a set of type, TypeScript libraries that you import into your applications. And ASP.NET Core obviously is a web development framework for building web apps on the .NET platform. So enough of all of that. So let's get into the real stuff. So as you can see, I've got a Visual Studio installer open here. Yeah? So let's have briefly, let's have a look at the components you need to install when you want on um, Visual Studio. So uh, as you can see, I've got a Visual Studio Community 2022. So you click on the modified. So this might take a while. So let's just give it a moment. So as you can see, you've got it open. So on the workloads here, yeah, we have to make sure that we check on this box or you've got this box checked here. So this will actually help you build a web applications using ASP.NET Core, ASP.NET, HTML, JavaScript, and containers, including Docker app support, yeah? So you gotta make sure that you've got this box checked. And also make sure that you check the node.js development. So this also help you build a scalable network applications using node. JS and asynchronous event driven JavaScript runtime. Yeah, so make sure you've got this box checked. If you don't want to install all the nodes workloads, then this is what you have to do. Obviously, you open a web browser and you Google uh, Node.js. So it's under Node.js.org. So we click on the link. So here, you got to make sure you download and install what is applicable to you. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm using Windows. So yeah, you use the Windows and you you actually download and install the, the the current version or the LTS. Okay, so once you download that bit, so let's close this here. Yeah? So once you've downloaded and installed the, the components needed here, so we can close the Visual Studio installer. So we can go ahead and create a new project. So here, uh, once you download the necessary components here, yeah, um, Visual Studio will give you a, a template to start with. Yeah? So this is ASP.NET Core with Angular. So this is a project template for creating an ASP.NET Core application with, application with Angular. So we select this here yeah, and we click on the next. So here, obviously, you can configure your project details. Yeah, we're not gonna to look too much into that. So we go ahead and click on the next. So here, obviously you can select the .NET framework, framework that is applicable to you. And you can also select the authentication type here. So for this video sake here, let's select the individual account, okay? And we, um, we click on the create. So this might take a while before the whole thing actually create. So I'm just going to pause the video while the whole thing creates. Okay. So as you can see here now, we've got the project created for us. Yeah. So let's briefly look at what is inside here. So this video is just to get you started and run your project for the first time. Yeah. So on my upcoming videos here, yeah, we look at actually getting started from scratch and building our own stuff from scratch. Okay. But for this video's sake here, yeah, let's look, have a look this way. So as we as you can see, we've got this project here. Uh, it's project number six. That's a project name. Yeah. So we go ahead. So we have properties folder here. Yeah? This contains the settings and whatnot. Yeah. So let's look at the launch set, settings. So this is just the uh, the launch configuration, like the URI and the port number and whatnot. Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and click on the WWs. So this contains your usual stuff like the save icon and whatnot, yeah. And then the next bit is the is a client app, yeah. So this contains um, the files for your um, 
for your Angular client application, okay? So it it, it has a, a folder inside SRC source, yeah. So let's click on the, let's open the SRC. So here, obviously, as you can see, we've got a bunch of folders and we've got main.ts and index.html. So basically, the index.html is the starting point of the application here. And we've got, um, let's look at the main. So the main also contains the basic configuration to, to, to get the whole application, your client application running, okay? And let's look at the app folder. Okay, before we do that, let's let's look at the first bit, the API authorization. So this contains the authorization for the application. As you can see, we selected um, an individual authentication type for this application. So this has got all the the necessary stuff, okay? And as you can see, we've got a folder for um, login. So this actually contains the login, the login client page and the login TypeScript, okay? So let's look at the, comp the components specs.ts. So this is just a bunch of um, TypeScript files here to get you started in terms of the login stuff here, like the the username and whatnot, okay? So let's look at the components as well. So as you can see, we've got a bunch of components. So you can actually take your time and have a look at it and try to understand it your own way, okay? So basically, this is not a video for us to look too much into this, okay? So I'm just gonna brush through it quickly. And then we've got the login main, yeah? So this, let's look at, this has got nothing inside, yeah? So let's skip that and then the logout contains the the logout stuff. So let's look at the HTML. So as you can see, we've got this message and we've got a bunch of TypeScript um, files here just to handle your logout process, okay? So, so as you can see, yeah, we don't have much time, so let's go ahead and look at the, the ASP.NET call, the clients, I mean the server side. We've got a controller, controller folder. This, the first bit is the OIDC configuration controller. So this is just uh, to control the, the user registration and the logins and whatnot, okay? And then we've got um, a weather forecast controller. Yeah, so this is all, this also, just to handle the the data, I mean the requested data for weather forecast. So this is just the sample data to get you started. And we've got actually model the weather for I mean the application model. So this the um, the application user. So this is just to register user and get um, the um, identity user and whatnot. Yeah. If you want to know much more, yeah, I've got I've got lots of videos on this topic, so you can have a look at the channel. And we've got this the database contest and whatnot. So rather than I mean to waste more time, yeah, let me let's run it and see what actually happens here. Yeah? So you can F5 or you can just click on the play button. So it might take a while, so I'm just going to pause the video. So we've got the application up and running now. Let's have a look at it. So as you can see, it's a very simple um, Angular client project with ASP.NET Core. So it's got a bunch of stuff. So obviously you can, you can, if you've got all the database connection strings and whatnot set up properly, you can you can create a user and log in just to see how the whole thing works. Yeah. So I mean, I'm gonna leave this video here for now yeah but i'll do my best here and, and create similar apps from scratch so that you see how the whole thing is put together so please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't and make sure you like the video as well i hope you have a lovely morning evening afternoon wherever you are peace